Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show. I'm The Big Llama, thank you so much for joining me. This is a movie reaction channel, and on this channel we react to first time movie watches. Basically, I get to watch the movies, give you my commentary, what I'm thinking about the movie at that very moment, and then I give you a full, unedited breakdown as soon as the movie's over. Uh, stick around and we also do some IMDb trivia. Okay, this one is a little bit different. Um, this particular video is one of my old videos. I'm re I'm rebranding it only because YouTube has blocked it and so nobody can see this video. And it is my reaction to The Children of the Corn, the 1984 movie starring Linda Hamilton. Um, and you know, I, I wanted to make sure that everyone can see this. I, I had a great time doing it. It was a retro rewatch. I did watch it when I was really, really little. And um, you know, I'm just excited to get it out there and make sure that everyone can see it. So guys, this is an old movie of mine. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm I'm re-editing it so that it doesn't get blocked by YouTube. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've never seen this before, I hope you enjoy it. Please stick around to the end. I uh, got my commentary and my trivia. Anyway, guys, before we get started, please, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. And before you get started, make sure you have your high quality H2O. Make sure you got everything ready for your movie enjoying pleasure. Guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. The 1984 movie, The Children of the Corn, the re-upload edit, hopefully won't get blocked by YouTube praying here we go now remember guys I watched this when I was six years old um, six or seven years old um, and it terrified me so I don't know if I'm prepared as an adult to watch this but we'll see yeah if I drive in Florida we don't have too many cornfields like this but there are some areas that look like this I'm terrified when I'm driving through there was homesick with mom She'd come down with the fever real sudden. That's when I saw Malachi and the others. Oh, I Malachi. The meeting with Isaac this was kid. Sure. Where did they find these kids? Like, where do you cast creepy looking kids? I mean, I, I know they're everywhere, but. <laughs> Look at this kid. He's like King, King Joffrey from Game of Thrones. I guess there's always one kid around. Better switch the decaf. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, I hate that thing. What? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, the meat grinder. Oh, no, 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 no. We got fillet his hands. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Why did I watch this as a six year old? A six or seven year old? Why was I this allowed? God, I am completely using humor to hide some of my. Ter I'm terrified, right? <laughs> like the stuff in my ear, the, the sounds. What is she doing? Oh, hell no. Happy birthday. See, this right here, this scene right here, just driving through empty plains, nobody around, Honey, is the creepiest thing to me. Right. To me, it's nothing. To you, it's nothing. Nebraska, turn around. Nebraska. Turn around. I've never been to Nebraska, but I never want to go. Nobody's looking, but everybody can hear you. Jack Hole, don't do that. Oh, and you got and you got spiders in there. Oh, I hear kids singing. Oh, you're done, dude. You're done. I think my blood pressure is going up. Honestly, I'm ge I'm genuinely terrified for this kid. Oh shit! It's Malachi. Oh hell no! Oh. 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 You know, took that kid out. Don't check her. Check that kid who just discombobulated out there. It's just a bump. 
It was a nasty squishy noise too. Oh lord. What is that? Cut his throat? Is he Oh yeah. See, why why? Why do you have to split up? Again, this is a horror movie trope. There's no reason for him to to split up from Linda Hamilton. But for some reason he's going to. And it's getting dark. The sun is setting. You're in cornfield. Stay in the car and keep going. Put the guy, get the kid in the trunk, and get to the next town. Standard horror movie stuff. What possesses someone to go into the cornfields, especially at night? Or it's getting getting late. You open the door, and you're going to. I'm so sorry. Oh sh. Oh, is this what? Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. Is it, is this guy like one of those actors who looks like a kid, but he's really like 30 years old, like Ralph Macchio? My child. I've seen this car upon the road. Go to the old man. Question me not, Malachi. I act according That's right, to Malachi. his will. Don't make me slap you upside the head. I'm running. Oh, look at he did the little hand thing. I, I got this. Me. Put them back. I'm gonna do that next time to somebody like away with you. <laughs> uh, you think about Gatlin? Gatlin? <laughs> there ain't nothing in Gatlin. This POV. Oh, look at the, look at the clouds moving. That's pretty cool. This this point of view of from the cornfields out is a cool cool shot. I'm convinced I would die in these movies early, way early. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, is that the dogs? Oh, come on. That's Sergeant. That's Sarge. Oh, Malachi, got you. Murdered little devil. Come on. Malachi's unsheathed in the, the weapon. There's the hook. Uh, you won't show that. Don't ever show up in my emergency room, buddy. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get treated by you. I think he's beyond treatment at this point. Him and his dog. And greater than that of the blue man. The blue man. Yes, the blue man. And just as the blue man was offered up unto him, so shall Sh shoot, what? Shoot the unbelievers. Go talk to the camera. To him. Bring him the blood of the outlander. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise this is what happens when brainwashing goes wrong. When you take a message and completely misconstrue that message. The blue man, the police officer, get out of here with this. Yeah, like, like, why? Oh my God, why are you exploring things? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Get back here. Come on, Vicky. Hurry up. I don't want to lose. Again, I, I don't. Maybe it's because I'm thinking it in normal logic. What is the obsession with following the clues in horror movies? Like these these kids are creepy. They've got you know sickles and hooks in their hands. Why would you want to chase them? Why would you want to go the opposite direction and like get out of town? Okay, that's that's another clue to say get your butts back in the car and drive away. Oh. They're not the wor they're not the worst jump scares, but I, I I did see it was Linda Hamilton. What's your name? Sarah. Oh, Sarah, that's a beautiful name. Sarah Connor. And I'm Vicky. Sarah Connor. <laughs> oh my God. You, well, maybe she can help. Well, fine. Then you stay here with her. Bert, horror movie one hundred and one. 
Fingers don't split up. No, you're not safe. Bert, her horror movie 101, you don't separate. Yeah, you just gave her the car. You're gonna go walking into town? Come on, man. Who are you? What do you want? We want to give you peace. Seize her! Go on, get her! Kill her! You said it was safe, man. What happened here, huh? What happened? Where's Vicky? You gotta think, now think. What happened to her, please? Who's that guy in the bottom? Does he speak to you, Isaac? He speaks to me always. But today he is displeased. He is displeased with you, Malachi. What have I done? Question him not in vain. Do you not know you did sacrifice Joseph without an offering? And question not my judgment, Malachi. I am the giver Ooh. of his word. Internal strife, internal struggle. Go you and bring me the husband. You must offer them tonight when Amos leaves. See, at this point, I'm no longer... Vicky! There's no longer the suspense of who's, who's tracking the kids. Or who's tracking the the adults? Now it's a matter of f finishing the story, right? So it's lost a little bit of its edge, at least for me. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like to get too serious in movies when I do analysis, but there's some. Pro I mean, this is a huge religious undertone. Uh, Jesus, God, offerings, cult behavior. Will be shared. Oh, stop it! Stop that! Hold the Outlander! Outlander? He gave him the shake. He gave him the. He broke the ankles. He played some basketball, this guy. Crazy? What do you think you're doing? Speak no more to him. He is an unbeliever. You should backhand. After you, I would backhand that child. Don't talk to me that way. No, wait. Bring Malik. No, don't bring Malachi. Malachi, come! Oh, Bert, you should have been looking out. You got shanked. Flesh wound, he's a doctor. Dude, seriously? You're breaking ankles all of a sudden now you can't run? Bert ain't afraid to, to beat down a child or cross him over. Oh, here we go. Unsheath the knife. That means I'm going to stab somebody right now. I got him with a shin check right there. Oh, my God. He done concussed himself. He done gave himself... He... Oh my god. Upper hand gives him a shin check and he gives himself a concussion. Not blaspheme, Malachi. You know not the laws. He speaks them only to me. I think not, Isaac. You are the one who's lost favor with them. He's the okay, god of Malachi is not ceremony. He seemed like a decent actor in, in future movies. You don't try pulling apart from us. Oh. He who walks behind oh. the rose will decide your fate. You just sit there, seize him, punish him, cut him down, I command you. I am the word and the giver of his laws. Disobedience to me is disobedience to him. Do it now or your punishment shall be a thousand times, a thousand deaths, each more horrible than the last. They are tired of your yeah, thought, no. Isaac. I've shown them what I can do. This girl got 80s perm all over her. I'm ready to celebrate my birthday. Malachi, he will not forgive you. None of you will be forgiven. I mean, I know it's lit for movies, right? So that you can see the character. But if this was truly nighttime in a cornfield, 
you wouldn't be able to see a thing. And I mean, that's I don't know. That's probably more terrifying than anything. All right, Isaac, you reap what you sow, buddy. It's him. Okay, this is this is the part where it's probably what drove me crazy as a six-year-old, six, seven-year-old. Yeah, I didn't understand what this was. Don't cry there, Isaac. You did this to yourself. Acting like King Joffrey. Oh my god. Oh, that's what he's seeing? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh my god, these are the worst effects I've ever seen. Even for a 1984 movie. And you know, deep down, if somebody's in a cult, I wonder if they think that or if they believe that. Or do they like completely believe what, what their cult leader is telling them? He's smacking him. He's not even punching him. He's smacking him in the face. That's disrespect right there. That's some disrespectful shit right there. Not get him. Get Nobody him. wants to mess with him. They don't want to get smacked up just like he got smacked up. Oh, hell no. Oh. He wants you too, Malachi. Yeah, no, run. 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 This dude is, this dude is possessed. Yeah, no, run, run, get out, move. Look, look at him, tight pants. Just get, get your butt out of there. Why was he reading out of the Bible? What, what was it, do you know? But you have it? But oh, up, convenient it. plot device right here. What was he reading? I got it right here for you. The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. I love you, Vicky. Unnecessary, okay. I love you. So let's get moving. Oh, the, the corn? The cornfield's grabbing him? Oh, hell no. Okay, now I recall why I'm terrified of cornfields. Forget that there were people behind him. If corn can do this to you, if this is legit real, or it was legit real in my brain, that's why I didn't like corn to fields. This is ridiculous. All right, there's good tension. Music is building. Okay, got Ethan on getting sprayed. What is that? Show her right this time. Burn, baby, burn. Bert's coming, Bert's coming. Oh, I forgot you got cut in the face. It ain't over till it's over. No, get out of there. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh no, 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 no. That's that's oh no. That needs the remake treatment big time. Oh my god, that was terrible. Again, she just pushes and pushes. 
not happy with the first request. Oh snap. Oh snap. Damn, right in the face. Oh, yeah, I'm tired cold. of kids jumping at me. What are we gonna do now? She's concussed. Kendrick. We gotta go. In the end, that's all. You get to the end in an ominous walk away. And now cue the scary music. All right, that was my reaction and review, uh, not review, but my reaction to Children of the Corn, the 1984 R-rated flick. It was an hour and 32 minutes. Just, I mean, okay. I get why I was so scared as a six and seven year old when I watched this, because that first opening sequence in this movie where they're just sort of taking people out, um, the parents and everything, that, that's traumatizing and and then you know there's scare elements and some jump scares um and i think it's a lot of the unknown the fact that you it's almost like jaws right like in the movie jaws you don't see jaws for a majority of the film it's the uh, it's the illusion of jaws it's it's what is underneath and what could possibly be that gets you scared in this case it's the same thing uh, at first, it's the cult, right? Like, I'm thinking, you know, again, both when I watched it as a kid and now, um, it's a cult. So I'm thinking there's cult behavior and activity, and that's what's causing these guys. They're misguided. There's, there's you know, things in, in Isaac's head that are telling them to kill these people. But when there is a true reveal of the mystical, you know, uh, you know he who walks behind the rose, and you know Isaac gets possessed then that that mystical element becomes real and unfortunately that's where the movie falters it, the, the effects for that were terrible uh, I said it in the review as I'm watching it it does take away from the movie and then even the last sequence where they're blowing everything up and they kill the bad guy terrible CGI terrible effects probably could have been done better um, even for 1984. So uh, I get, you know, I give 1984, I give, you know, movies back then a pass. But at the same time, um, the effects weren't horrific back then. Um, and and again, maybe, maybe I'm just overanalyzing it. But um, so let's answer some of those questions, right? Um, before we get to the trivia. Uh, you know, should I have been watching this as a six and seven year old? Yeah, absolutely no, absolutely not. I don't know why I was watching this. Uh, at that younger age, um, I believe because we had HBO and it was playing and I, I got to watch it. Um, should it be remade? Now I know they have like Children of Corn 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 or whatever. Um, I think this one could be served with a remake or a reboot of some sort, but of the original story. And you're going to have to clean up some plot points and some elements because things were just, you know, spoon fed and hand fed to um, the characters. But, um, you know, definitely something that I, you know, now, does it hold up? Is it, does it give, still give me the same creepy vibes? Yes and no. Um, there's something ingrained in me now because of when I saw this as a, as a young kid um, that really does terrify me about cornfields, about kids, kids singing. There's that ominous soundtrack of the kids chorus in the background. Um, so it, even to this day, even I, I think I'd said during the, the, the review, um, there was parts where my blood pressure was up, meaning like I was, I was, was my heart was beating heavy because there were some suspense moments and I didn't know what to expect, but I am not terrified. Like right now, as a kid, I would have been terrified to go to sleep. Uh, right after this, I'm going right to bed and I'm not probably thinking about children of the corn unless I drive through cornfields. So anyway, so, you know, it, it, it should be remade. Um, does it hold up? No, uh, yes and no. Like I said, there's uh, creepy elements, but the, the CGI at the end, the, the effects for the big main bad guy at the end really sort of turned this movie around and they don't help the matters. If they could have done that a little bit better, I think it would have held up. All right, let's get to the trivia. All 
All right, so a couple of things. I, I love looking at IMDb trivia. Um, the first thing I see here says here, if you look on the dashboard of Burton and Vicky's car, there's a copy of Night Shift, which is the Stephen King short story collection, which included Children of the Corn. So that's a pretty good nod, a, a pretty good thing. Um, let's see, this says it has goofs here. In the middle of the film, the children uh, kill the adults. This is followed by the opening credits. When the credits end, we are introduced to Burton and Vicky at their motel and told it's three years later when Bert and Vicky arrived to Gallon and encountered the children, none of them seem to have aged. Yes. Okay, so that's a continuity error. That's a pretty good, interesting one. I did, and, and you know, um, the, the, the relevance of the time passing wasn't really a big deal. So there wasn't anything significant that happened. Uh, maybe that's why we didn't notice it, but that's a pretty cool thing. Um, one of the big quotes here says, you know, Bert says, any religion without love and compassion is false. It's a lie. So, um, yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, let's see. There are alternate versions of this movie. It says here the director's initial cut was much longer than the version that eventually made it into theaters and onto video among the missing footage. So what was missing? There was a longer prologue where several other adults are killed on camera, most noticeably a police deputy at the police station uh, whose throat was slashed and then stabbed in the chest, and a farmer who was hacked to death outside the barn by a group of pickaxe wielding teen kids. Yeah, see, more ominous stuff, more of the gore and horror elements would have given you more weight or more consequence, even though you know they killed everybody in that first scene. Uh, it says here, a scene between Sarah and, and Job's parents before the slaughter. Uh, they talk over breakfast um, and about Sarah's drawings and the upcoming massacre and they think something awful is about to happen. So uh, more, more, you know, given, instead of just being thrown into the, here's the adults and they're about to get slaughtered, it gives you a little bit of a prelude to that. And then here it says a scene with where Isaac prays to he who walks behind the rose only to receive a horrific vision of his impending fate. Okay, see that's, that's good stuff that uh, unfortunately hit the cutting room floor. Um, the movie is only an hour and a half. There was room for, for more stuff to be in there. Um, and then, you know, some reviews, obviously, um, you know, some people are saying it's not the epic that they expected. Um, it, it came out to mixed reviews. A cool thing is the box office. Um, the, they had an estimated budget of about 800000 That's an estimated budget. And on their opening weekend, they made uh, $2 million plus and they grossed um, almost $15 million worldwide, which at the time was huge it was a huge thing for that movie so that's probably why it spurned multiple sequels all right well that's my review that's my uh reaction i hope you enjoyed watching this along with me remember if um if you'd like to watch more content make sure you like and subscribe um join my patreon if you want to watch the full-length versions of these um again it'll be just a timer um the YouTube edit is, is spliced up for for a copyright, but the um, Patreon version is just me with a timer and just walking through so you can sync up the movie. You're going to need a copy of your own movie. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Big Llama. We just reviewed Children of the Corn. I'm not afraid anymore, and I'm only it's only took 43 years to get there. Um, again, we're going to do more reviews. Stick with the channel. There's a lot of fun, entertaining stuff coming up. I'm the Big Llama. This is the Big Llama Show. Peace out. Yeah, I tell her, baby, you're the one for me. Never two unless you're telling me you feel it too.